Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. My name is Queen Queen and today we're gonna do some trade-ups. I prepared uh, two industrial trade-ups and then I prepared one minus spec trade-up. Uh, the theme today will be the control collection, which is one of the new collections and as you can see on my screen, uh, Operation Broken Fang has ended and you might already know that from somewhere else of course. Uh, but yeah, so I'm happy to do these trade-ups and I'm quite excited. Before we get into that, I would just like to say that if you want to show your support more than, of course, subscribe, like and comment, there is some promo code in the description and also if you want to buy, for example, Trade Up Spy Premium, you can use my affiliate, affiliate link and get two extra uh, premium days uh, per month bought. Well, with that uh, aside, I'm really excited. Let's get into the trade ups. So, the first trade up today will be a 2-8 split industrial um, it has two uh, control uh, inputs, then it has six fillers from the safe house collection, then it has two fillers from the bank collection. Every filler is low float, and so is also the control uh, inputs. Well, uh, low and low floats, um, they're, they're from 006, the fillers, to uh, 13, factory new. Um, also, I have 004 and 006 bank fillers, and the controls are 01. Um, so uh, I would say quite low, uh, some would say decent, depends uh, what you're comparing to. What I'm going for here is of course the control collection, which has a 25% uh, odds to hit. But also uh, a really nice hit would be the SSG Acid Fade from the Safe House collection, because it comes in a triple O float, uh, which I would really really like to hit and save and then use in a further trade up that I'm trying to prepare. But also they are worth quite a lot. Also, the bank skins are worth quite a lot as well with the float. Um, I'm not sure if the prices I have in the uh, summary, of course, like all my other videos, they might be underestimates, might be overestimates. I try to base my prices uh, out of buff, since that is the place where you go if you want to sell uh, flo low floated skins. But of course, you could get more for them, or also they might be worth less. So, take everything with a bit of salt. With that said, let's get into the trade-up. So, here we have all of the skins prepared. And while I'm putting in the skins, I would also like to say that um, the M4 would be actually a 5.4 euro profit, which is quite decent. Uh, and the lowest profit outcome here would be the Acid Fade, um, which is a 54 cent profit. Okay, I'm ready for the first trade-up of this video. I hope you are as well. Let's go. Oh, okay. That's not the worst outcome, but that's not really that nice. Um, I can of course save this for another trade up. It will be in a quite low float. We'll expect the float in the end of the video as always, but yeah, that's quite sad. Well, let's hope to get control in the second trade up. So, the second trade up is also a 2 8 split. It has five fillers from uh, the Safe House collection, one from the Dust 2 collection, and two from the Bank collection. The input skins are the same as the last one, it's two control skins. It's the same odds here to hit, but also there is uh, some small profits from the Dust collection. Um, uh, also, worth to mention, I, I should have mentioned this in the first trade-up as well, uh, both of these trade-ups are on the paper, well in the calculator of course, in the summary, they're actually profitable even with the steam tax. That's pretty decent. Um, so, uh, I'm ready for the trade-up, let's go. We have all the skins here, uh, the two controls, then we have the safe house, uh, one dust, and then two bank. Okay, let's hope to hit anything else. Then the famous tear down uh, or that 5 and 7 silver quartz. But of course, we want control. Let's go. Hey, that's nice. I am happy with that. That's quite decent. Okay, let's go. We hit the one uh, trade up out of the two trade ups we've done. The second trade up. That's nice. So, let's hope to get the same luck in the next trade up and hit uh, a restricted control skin. So, the th third trade-up is not as profitable, but it is much more um, exciting to me. Uh, it's, uh, it costs about 25 euro without any float overpay included from the buys, uh, well, from the skins, uh, the inputs, of course. Um, I haven't overpaid anything that I remember in any of the skins, so this should be the true profitability, but I'm not 100% because of, of course, the float prices. Um, what we what we really want to hit here is the five and seven berries and cherries, um, 
and that's that's because it's gonna come in a triple of float. That's really 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 good. It's worth a lot as well. It gets a lot of overpay. But me, um, I would like to save it and perhaps using a trade up. Okay, and then also of course any of the other controls are really 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 good. I would be really happy with those. And we have a kind of a save break even kind of skin, which is the P two K Amber Fade. Um, and what what that means is that since it comes in a, such a low float, um, it it even might be a small profit. Uh, but of course what we really don't want here is the M4 Nitro. I've seen too many of those in my lifetime. So I forgot to mention this is of course also a 2-8 split as you can see on the picture. Uh, we have the two dust two skins and then we have six safe house skins. Okay so let's get, get into the trade-up. As I said this is a quite exciting one. Um, the acid phase has, has went up a lot in price so I've also had a pretty hard time to get the skins for a decent price um, usually I could get uh, one of these trade-ups together in probably a day but now this actually took me like a week so I really really hope to hit something good here okay let's do it oh and we got the glitch you see it pops up here but not here okay which what that means is now we'll see it three two one hey that's actually nice even though that should be a fail outcome, it still comes in a really low float and it's not a, uh, it's not a loss. I'm happy about that. It could have been the M4 and that would have been much, much worse. So this is a great example of why to use sometimes uh, a couple uh, other filler skins which has uh, a more expensive outcome. Okay, so <laughs> the, 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 high, the high risks, the, the fun, it's over. Um, I'm quite happy how that went. We hit um, actually two out of three, but I would say in like what well, I'm happy with hitting, it's only one out of three. But of course, also I'm happy with getting that dust too. That's nice. Okay, so as usual, um, I will put up on the screen here how much we profited. Um, I'm gonna say right now off my head, I think we actually profited in this video. It's not a big profit, but we still profited. It should be a couple of euros or something like that. Okay, so you've seen that and let's inspect the floats. It's a double 038, that's nice. I could uh, definitely use that in a further trade up. This one, double 06, that's nice. It, it doesn't look that bad. Sadly, I don't use the P2K. Oh, I just noticed we have two P2Ks in this video. And that's a double 014, that's really, really low. It's almost, tri almost triple O. Okay, even though it looks kind of scuffed, it's, it's a nice float. Um, I'm happy that we didn't, didn't get an M4 and we got one control at least. So I'm happy about that. Uh, well, that was this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please comment, subscribe and like the video if you did. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye bye.